Hi, my name is Howard Krauss and I am a neuro-ophthalmologist. Um, early in life I loved math and I loved physics. I was enamored with the uh, U.S. manned spaceflight program. And at the age of 12 I dedicated myself to aerospace engineering. I have a bachelor's degree in electrical engineering, a master's degree in aeronautics and astronautics. All the while at the dinner table Mom would say, Howard, be a doctor. And I would say, Mom, I love math. I love physics. Medicine is not really a science. I refuse to consider it. So after my master's degree, I took a job with what was then called the Hughes Aircraft Company, where I designed uh, communication systems for satellites and spacecraft. But I found something missing, and I thought that perhaps I needed something more humanistic in my life, but as an en engineering student I lacked biology and organic chemistry and I went to UCLA Extension in the evening to take my pre-med classes, applied for medical school, and uh, within two years after starting my engineering career, uh, I began my medical school career. Perhaps it was my uh, disposition from uh, electrical engineering, but when I began medical school, my principal interest was in the brain. Uh, and I viewed the rest of the body as a means of supporting the brain and carrying it from place to place. Uh, I went to medical school in the 70s uh, and I was a bit uh, concerned that neurosurgical outcomes were not often good, that neurologists in the 70s didn't seem to be doing much more than localizing the lesion and had very little in the way of treatment to offer. And in medical school I learned that at least 40% of our brain is involved with vision. So I immediately became interested in neuro-ophthalmology and applied for ophthalmology residency as a means of becoming a neuro-ophthalmologist. Uh, in my first year of ophthalmology residency, I met Dr. Greg Kroll, who was doing his neuro-ophthalmology fellowship at UCLA, having spent a year with Mr. John Wright at the Moorfields Eye Hospital in London. And Greg said to me, Howard, if you're going to be a neuro-ophthalmologist, you should consider being a surgical neuro-ophthalmologist. And he said, there's one training program in the United States that is geared to that, and that's Dr. Jack Kennerdell at the University of Pittsburgh. So after residency training, I did my fellowship with Jack Kennerdell at the University of Pittsburgh. And apart from the fact that it was a wonderful clinical experience in the operating room with Dr. Kennerdell, in the operating room with the neurosurgeons and the head and neck surgeons uh, and participating in a wide variety of surgeries that would take care of patients with vision issues and orbital issues. Uh, it was a distinct pleasure to have uh, Jack as my mentor. Uh, he was not only a knowledgeable person and a skilled surgeon, uh, but he was a very caring person, very interested in his fellows uh, in their lives and their career development. Uh, and unfortunately, we lost uh, Jack last year, but he's trained about 35 fellows. Uh, and we always viewed ourselves as uh, Jack's children and uh, extended family. And very often uh, at the academy meeting each year, we would get together and have a dinner uh, with Jack. And even now that Jack has passed, we still get together. So one of the things that I've always valued in career development is friendships and relationships. Uh, and if one has an opportunity to acquire a professor or a mentor who takes a real interest in your development, uh, that really is very valuable in terms of how you feel about your own position in healthcare. Uh, I've been fortunate to go on to develop a very busy surgical neuro-ophthalmology practice in Los Angeles. Um, I've recently established what we call the Pacific Neuroscience Institute, which is a multi-specialty group which presently has 16 physicians, but is rapidly growing. We have neurosurgeons, neurologists, interventional neuroradiologists, neuro-oncologists, skull-based surgeons, uh, and we have a great collaboration with colleagues at the St. John's Health Center in Santa Monica, and recently have signed a professional services agreement with Providence Healthcare. So I have uh, been very fortunate in having found myself in a career that I feel I was destined for. I, I love what I do. 
Uh, I've been a very active teacher in the UCLA program, both in the departments of ophthalmology and neurosurgery. Uh, I love teaching and I love the relationships that I'm building. Uh, and as best as I can, I try to uh, mentor along the way as well. So for me, as they say, neuro-ophthalmology has been very, very good to me. But uh, I love being a neuro-ophthalmologist. Uh, I love helping patients. Uh, and uh, I strongly commend this as a uh, career path for someone who's interested in the neurology of vision and somebody who just wants to reach out and help patients because that's what I've had the good fortune to do throughout my career.